Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking time out. Hey, fam, today's vlog is gonna start by unboxing my new gift, my Instant Pot multi-use pressure cooker. Remember, I did have a, a pressure cooker before. I did an unboxing, I'll link the video now, but that one was stolen. This gift was from my big sissy, Nicole. Thank you, sissy, for sending me this. I totally was not expecting it. This was on my list to repurchase when I get my insurance money, which I'm still waiting on. So let's just unbox this baby real quick because today I'm actually gonna try it out. You can scan here and gives you more details and information on, you know, things that you can cook. The instruction manual, ring, power cord, and it's so lightweight, oh my gosh. So I like the fact that it is more lightweight than the one that I got previously. I was worried about having space on my small counters for this because I'm limited, but I think this baby is gonna fit right in. Nothing else is in the box. Let me give you a closer look. It has pressure cook feature soup broth. Um, I cannot pronounce, oh, cake, cake. Um, egg, slow cook saute, rice, beans, grains, porridge, oatmeal, sterilized yogurt, sous vide, I can never pronounce that, but I remember seeing it in my other one. Start, keep warm, delay, start. Oh, you can actually do the timer. Oh my gosh, I am gonna love, love, love this. And it has like the little stainless steel at the top. The little water reservoir. It catches the steam and everything so that you don't have water dripping down the side and on the uh, counter and everything. This is where it releases, I remember that. Um, so you just open it by turning. Side of here it has a little warning label. This is like the added extra layers, extra racks. Is the pot that comes in it. So never use the Instant Pot without the steel pot inner pot duh all right guys so i just want to let you know inside of this manual it does not have like the little cookbook style uh what they did was they actually added a free download so i know for sure if you have an iphone you can just open up your camera and um once you get your camera on your iphone and like i said i'm not for sure on android but once you get your camera on iphone um, you and can on my phone it pops up open instantpot.com in Safari I'm gonna open that up I'm trying to get the glare and then it says open this page in the app store get the app I don't connect so I'm gonna get this out so there it is and it opens up uh, you can log in sign up I'm gonna do that later mm continue I ain't allowing no notifications so basically I'm just gonna search for pot roast all right thanks sissy for my new instant pot pressure cooker I'm so excited we're about to get this baby on and pop it don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know if you got this instant pot pressure cooker what is your favorite thing to use in yours if you have it I would have to say chili and pot roast were my favorite in my old one. Uh, we're gonna see, you know, what is hitting like in the new one. If you are interested in picking up this same particular Instant Pot pressure cooker, my sissy did order it from Amazon. Still wanna pick it up, I will drop the link for you. Okay. So I got my macaroni made up. I'm getting ready to put that in the oven. Cornbread muffins are finished. I'm gonna pot roast onions, bell peppers in there, about to start the Instant Pot. I'm gonna get these cut up and then I'm gonna add them later because I don't want them to be all super mushy right now. Add some beef stock. Okay, this is what it's looking like after 25 minutes. Can y'all see it is. So now right here I got my carrots and my potatoes and my seasonings with Worcestershire sauce. Um, all of the seasonings that I put on my steak. So I've had these guys over here hanging out, marinating in this goodness. Veggies in here. We're gonna let this go 
another 25 minutes. Well, I think I'm gonna do 20. So first time it was 25 minutes on high with just the meat, onions, and bell peppers. This time we got 20 minutes on high with everything. All right, y'all, this is what it is looking like. Look how tender they are. It just broke, that was half of one. I just broke it. I'm gonna just taste a little piece of the potato. Look how that carrot broke. So easy, let me taste it real quick. Oh, wow. I'm glad I didn't put the potatoes in at first, y'all. Look, dinner is done. I just came just to check on it because I'm gonna get in ready to put the mac and cheese in the oven. Just put the mac and cheese in. These are the kids' plates. They are eating. I also did London's locks today. Um, they are plaited right now while they're air drying. All right, guys, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy. I got two pans. So I don't know how they have them, but yeah. Somebody's at the door. It's Bree. Come in. <laughs> what you doing, girl? Nothing. Nothing. Let me turn light. <laughs> Tell them your name. Aubrey. Aubrey. And how old are you, Aubrey? Six. Six. Okay. You want to tell them anything else? I'm good. You good? Okay. Tell them bye. Bye. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's your girl, London. It's your girl, Aubrey. And, yeah. So I'm going to go show you guys something. So we are in my room currently. We have a lot of fidgets and I'm going to show you guys what all I have in my room. And hopefully you guys like it and make sure to like and subscribe. So first I got this. Only Peach Berry from Bath and Body Works yesterday. She got a really watch Rocky Trap. This, um, this little mochi. I don't like that, but I like the Rocky Trap. Um, super, super cute. And what are you gonna try to show them, Brie? It's a little bunny. My little hey. bunny diary. And let's go ahead. What is this? That's um a little thing me and my cousin drew, like. She's a video just her off. Let me have Okay, you can see it. Hey. Y'all making that for when go on. Hey guys, so mm -hmm. the uh we gotta say bye. So uh -huh. yeah, let's just go ahead and say bye. Bye. Oh. Hey. Okay. Bye. So I'm gonna set it up. We got this. Okay. 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 So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like. Comment and subscribe and, and hit, the bell. hit the bell so you get notified whenever my mom posts. Okay, bye, bye. guys. Let's get here. <laughs> We're done. Y'all done? Here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just wanted to give y'all an update. They denied both of my claims for my storage unit. So now I have to get an attorney because I am going to sue them. If you looked at my life update, I only had a $2,000 policy on my unit with two different robberies happening, two different police reports, everything. We just don't get nothing. I cannot afford a lawyer, but... I'm going to get one because I can't let this. This is the facility manager. And he said that he uh, spoke with Vanessa. Um, and he said that um, she already gave her statement to the tenant protection detective. So now you have to just get with them. It's kind of out of our hands. It's up to them. Oh, okay. Because they said they were still trying to get in touch with Vanessa. No, she made a statement to them already okay all right. all right do you have their number now i'm calling the claims adjuster y'all i can't make this up 
Hello, uh, my name is Kendra. I need to speak with a claims adjuster about cl two claims that I had in July of this year. Just got an email from the facility. I have been calling and emailing. This this has been a rough, rough, rough process. Based on the information provided from the facility, ultimately it was deemed that there was no forced entry. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Now, are you... So, this is after speaking to the police officers that I had both times? Confirming with the facility, with the management. No. Are you serious? I'm, I'm serious, ma'am. Both claims, they're saying that nobody broke in after I got communication from her asking me if I recognized stuff in other people's units. After the police came and said that there have been numerous break-ins. Sir, I got the same police officer both times when I called 911. And you mean that this ain't right? I'm gonna have to get a lawyer because this is not right. Oh, me and my kids stuff. And that lady ain't even working there no more. And then I'm sitting here calling and nobody's telling me nothing. And it took for me to do all of this today. <laughs> Reviewing the information right now, but unfortunately, <laughs> the management confirmed that ultimately there there was just no forced entry. Um, there has, there's a notation from the maintenance man stating that the, your lock is found in your unit unsecured. No, I got pictures. I know. They said that they had cameras and they were reviewing everything. And they said that there were some white people that they sent me pictures of. And they said that they were around my unit. I got text messages that I emailed y'all. No, y'all can't do this to me. Everything me and my kids had was in there. Somebody email me something in writing, please. Of course. Um, I'll get the information over to you. God, don't like ugly. That's all right. And I'm getting an attorney. We, we have images of a, of a... From what we were told, it looks like it's your vehicle entering and leaving the facility, a white vehicle. No, my car is silver. I have a Nissan Altima. How am I going to take bikes? And take all of these items out. I was coming in there checking all my stuff, swapping out clothes. I was living in my car. Like, really? Look at that footage. I never took nothing out of there other than clothes. I got stuff missing my church, all his music equipment. I got a TV missing, air fryer, guitar, my child bikes, my child dollhouse, all my baby clothes and shoes. Really? Hey y'all, I don't think I showed y'all London's hair, but I shampooed, retwisted, and plaited her hair up. This is how she wore her hair today. I only put a few beads in the front on the ends. Turn around, pumpkin. She is right now, y'all, on my MacBook Pro. I know, I'm crazy, but she is grocery shopping for me on the Walmart app. She's grocery shopping for me right now. I'm probably gonna have to change some stuff. Can I get one of those? I want one. Okay, get one. Yes. Two. Crushed tomatoes, I need one. Okay. No. It's hamburger and french fry night. Um, right now, I am just getting these burgers going. They are just frozen, and this is the add brisket burger. I'm getting ready to start my french fries in my air fryer. I cleaned this baby, y'all. I didn't record, but it was so easy to clean. So y'all a reminder of how to do your french fries in the air fryer. Don't pay no attention to the arrangement because it's not organized at all. <laughs> y'all already knew that, though. So I am going to get, I got some canola oil spray, and I also have some extra virgin olive oil spray. I'm gonna take the canola oil spray. I didn't get vegetable oil this time. You're gonna lightly 
to spray your french fries. And then after you spray it, just get whatever your favorite seasoning is. Favorite for french fries that are plain, um, that are not seasoned. I always get Asian Spice from Big Lots. It's only a dollar. You spray it so that the french fries don't taste all, you know, dried out. Like, so after they cook, go on and get that baby on. I'm gonna change it to like 350 for about eight minutes and go from there. Is melted. That's London's little half burger. She never eats the whole thing. Do you see what I'm talking about? going to make my um, baby alive something to eat today so um I'm just gonna set it up right now fruit loops if you can't see and I have a bowl of fruit loops right here so yeah I'm gonna get her a little fork because she likes to eat with forks because she wants to be fancy this is what she looks like and she just finna get to eat and Look at that cute picture I made in my room. It's so cute. Okay, that's all I really wanted to show you guys. And yeah, bye guys. <sighs> the magic mouse and it's Apple. Family, I just wanted to show y'all really quickly. I got a nice surprise today. Um, this is a gift from one of my loyal, loyal YouTube family members. And I am just so thankful for you all. Thank you so much, fam. They did not want me to mention their name, and you guys can see the message. But I just want to say thank y'all so much. I never had one of these before. I'm very excited to open this baby up. As you all know, I do have a MacBook. Excuse all of the stickers and everything I got going on. But um, I was using this iHome mouse that I picked up for Walmart. It's like $25. So that's what I've been using. It, it did come from the Apple Store. All right, y'all, so again, this is so exciting to have a magic mouse. Let's get this baby open. Be editing all day and night. Y'all know I love unboxings. There we go. Okay, y'all, the back side, it's a silver color. This is what the bottom of the mouse look like. It's silver, but the top, it is white. You can see the apple emblem. Inside, of course, you got the little instruction manual. Oh, this one has a USB-C to lightning. So that means I can use my MacBook charger with this one. It's kind of corded, like it's not smooth. Y'all see this is my MacBook charger right here. I can use the same one and that means a speedy charge. So I'm getting ready to charge this baby up. Thank you so much, shout out to you, fam. I didn't want me to mention their name, so I'm gonna out of respect, I'm not going to. Y'all know I love my Apple. I'm getting ready to charge this baby up so I can start editing. Uh, luckily, I do have a MacBook, so, and I'm pretty sure anybody buying a Magic Mouse is probably gonna have a MacBook, so that's probably why they gave this. We're gonna wanna get this charged. Looks like it charges on the back, which is kinda odd. No indicator. What's the indicator? When you get on your MacBook and you charge it, it's probably gonna do like a little. Oh, that's on. It's probably. So it just popped up, Magic Mouse. Out the box, y'all. Out the box, 95% charge. So I don't even have to charge it. I could, I could really edit now. Brandon just got under the dryer. 